first thing I notice is the smell of fish and chips. It's kind of wrong not to have fish and chips when you're on the coast. So I might well partake in a portion later on. For anyone interested, I'm sporting the X-T5 with the 16 to 80, which is a really nice travel lens, really versatile. this yellow building have to uh, get a shot of it every time I'm here Let's see if I can get not a car but it'd be nice to get a person or persons walking past just like getting that human element wearing a hat, beret. <laughs> fascinated by all these fishing boats and uh, tractors it's the rust I think they look so old
good thing about this lens at uh, 16 millimeter. It helps you get some really nice wide shots. Unfortunately, the sun is on the uh, wrong side, really, to get some nice photos of these. But still, can't resist it. Especially when you get the, uh, as you can see, spotlight there. Just add something in the foreground. colors of this rock here. When on the coast, it's got to be fish and chips, isn't it? Looks good, doesn't it? This is um, number one chroma. I'd recommend them. Tartar sauce. Really good. Some nice white flaky fish. Great stuff. Now leave me alone to eat this. See you later. So I think it's about time we check out Chroma Pier while we're here. It's a grade two listed building. Uh, it's 151 meters long and is a traditional Victorian pier. So let's go check it out.
This pier is only the fifth pier in the UK that's actually still got a working theatre. At the end of the pier we have the RNLI lifeboat station. So shout out to all the volunteers that work on the lifeboats. you enjoyed that wander around Cromer I'm gonna leave you now with a few photos that I didn't get to film see you again soon